Vanessa, I heard about this from Mom. Are you really going to be getting married? That has to be a lie, right? There's no reason you should be able to get married to anyone right now. I'm not sure why you think I couldn't get married to anyone at this time, but I am getting married, and I am planning on sending invitations to all the family here soon. So if you don't mind coming to the wedding, I'd love to see you there. Huh? So you really are getting married then, aren't you? Stop screwing around. What about this means that I'm screwing around? You know that I'm your older sister, right? Older sister. So why do you, the younger sister, get to be married before I do? Normally, people would let their older siblings get married first before making their move. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I didn't think there was any normalcy to when siblings should be getting married. I just assumed it was based on on timing and that's it. I don't mean to get married before you as an insult or anything. I just happened to find a man that I wanted to live the rest of my life with and marry soon. Do you really think it's okay for you to be happy with your soulmate before I am? Huh? I don't get what you keep going on about. I didn't think there was anything wrong with me being happy with the man of my dreams. And I never related me being in this position before you, Emily. I'm not even married yet and I'm still just as happy as I'll be after the marriage. So explain to me what you mean by me being happy before you with my soulmate. You stop thinking about marrying that man. Right now. No, you're not marrying that man. Not until I have a man of my own that I'm married to first. Emmy, would you quit acting like a child right now? Are you acting this way because you're jealous of me getting married? If you are thinking that, it's a total waste of your energy, so just don't worry about me. I think you're better off using all that energy finding a way to make yourself happy. Whether that's with another man or on your own. Jealous? Why would I be jealous of your marriage? I am just disgusted by the fact that you're not playing by the rules. What rules are you even talking about, though? It's always been that the oldest sister is the first one to get married and leave the family. That's what I'm talking about. That is not any kind of story or rule that I've ever heard of. What century ago was that rule ever a thing? Seems to me like something from way back, so you should just cool it and let me do what I want to do. And if that means you not coming to my wedding, then that's fine with me and you can stay away. I don't want any bad feelings between us, so just stop trying with me. See ya. It looks like Emmy's pretty upset with me right now. Sure seems that way, doesn't it? But I had to tell her eventually that you'd be getting married, so there really was no way of us avoiding this. Why is she so upset with me, though? Wasn't she supposed to be getting married herself? She probably hasn't told you anything about it, but her and her fiancé broke up. What? The man she was with wanted to borrow her money, and so he did. Borrow a lot and ran off, which left Emmy in a rough spot to the point she left her job. And so for a whole year now, she's been living back at home with us here. So that's probably the reason she's having such a tantrum over me. I can understand her a bit more now. But although it's really sad that something like that had to happen to her, there's no reason for her to be taking out her feelings on me. I didn't do anything to her. Right. So at the moment, she's back at her home doing nothing at all with herself. She's trying to find someone that she can get married to. But as for any sort of job... There is none. I see. But I think it's not healthy for her to be getting all worked up over my marriage. I'm a bit worried now that she might do something outrageous at my wedding if she's in a mood. I would really like for her to toughen up a bit and get back on both her feet. Now she's going to be living in our house forever if she doesn't do something with herself. I've even told her how I feel about that. Well, let's just hope that she doesn't plan to do anything before or at my wedding. I'd sure love to think that she'd stop taking out her frustrations on you, but who knows what she'll do. I already told her that it's okay if she doesn't come to the wedding, so I'm sure she'll take me up on that and stay away. I'll try not to make her more upset than she already is. Sucks to see that the wonderful wedding dress you plan to wear is totally ruined now. And just before the beginning of your wedding. Huh, I guess you'll have to cancel the wedding today, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? What wedding dress are you talking about? What is that picture that you just sent me of? That would be your wedding dress. <laughs> I made it completely black by pouring ink all over it. That's my dress? I'm sure it's hard to tell now that it's messed up. <laughs> but you have no hopes of having a wedding now in that kind of dress, right? I'm going to make sure that I'm the one becoming happy before you can. <laughs> so you did all that with the hopes of having my wedding cancelled? That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm glad all has gone to plan for me so far. And you thought that you were at the location of my wedding? Huh? What 
did you say? The location of your wedding today was written on the invitation you sent. So I made sure to show up early and ruin that dress before anyone came into the dressing room. <laughs> I wanted to keep it as a surprise for you to see soon, but couldn't keep myself from telling you about it. Now you can see that it's completely unacceptable for you to get married before your older sister. After having your wedding dress turned completely black, your wedding is over. <laughs> the wedding I'm having today is at a church, though. Huh? I see that you're excited to hear that my wedding is canceled, but... My wedding is being held at a church, and my dress is nothing like that one in the picture. I didn't even rent a dress for the wedding because mom will be letting me wear hers. What are you going on about? <laughs> You're lying, right? Why would you think that I'd be lying to you? I think the dress you've just ruined is some stranger's. Ruining someone you don't even know's dress? You understand what might happen to you now? What are you talking about, Vanessa? This has to be your dress. I made sure that this place was the exact place you had on your invitation. Maybe you thought that you read the address right, but I'm not holding my wedding outside today. I will have mine in a church, and I don't plan to have a dress that big on for the wedding. The wedding will only be inside this church, although I'm aware that some weddings might take place in the courtyard outside of here. Wait a second. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me right now. Well, just know that that dress you've ruined is not the one I'm going to wear today. And so with that, whatever happens to you now has nothing to do with me. I have a wedding to prepare for now, so you can figure out what to do on your own now. Also, after seeing how screwed up you are by doing all of that out of jealousy, I'd like you to never come around me again. So go ahead and handle all of that on your own. And never talk to me again. You hold on, Vanessa. Why are you going off on me like this right now? I did all of that to your dress, so you should be freaking out right now. I never heard anything about you having your wedding in a church or that you'd wear mom's dress. I never did mention any of that to you, and I'm very lucky now that I hadn't after seeing what mess you got yourself into. <laughs> I'm going to completely cut ties with you now. So never come around me or talk to me again. I can't even believe you'd try something like that with your own little sister because of your jealousy. So this is seriously someone else's dress. I... I really thought that it'd be yours. How many times do I have to tell you that's not my dress for you to understand? Do you need me to say it in another language for you? Stop that! You can't even be upset with me now because this is all on you. What? Why is it all on me? If you'd known that it wasn't your dress, then why didn't you tell me sooner? You should have told me that you'd be wearing Mom's dress the last time we talked so that I could have ruined her dress instead. So this is all your fault. You stop with all that BS right now. You are nothing more than a total prick of a sister right now. Huh? A prick? What? I'm not going to let you go off on me telling me that what you've done is my fault somehow. I have nothing to do with your mental disabilities. You've always been that way. Anytime something doesn't go your way, you blame it all on me. You think that you can just keep running away from your responsibilities like you're a three-year-old? Well, you're in your late 30s now, so stop acting like a child or we'll have to put you in an institution. But I didn't do anything wrong. It's all of you that have been doing things wrong. Huh? All of us? So you're telling me it's all our fault that you are jobless and can't find anyone willing to marry a woman with childlike behavioral issues? I say you all, but primarily it's all your fault. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I haven't done anything to cause you to act like a loser. All you think to say is that this is all my fault, but have you ever thought of replacing me with you? I haven't had anything to do with your life. The only thing I've ever done is live my own life. You have been the one to work your own jobs and the one in charge of your own happiness. And the reason that you're in such a crappy place right now is all due to yourself. It's not mom or dad's fault. It's not my fault. It's nobody but your own fault. So stop acting like a god dang child. You are 33 years old now, so get off your butt and make a life of your own, you idiot. You didn't have to say all of that to me. You're going to make me fall apart again. Why? Why are you saying all of that to me? You have no right to be saying things like that about me. Do you really think it's okay to talk to your older sister like that? Do you think it's okay to act that way because you're my older sister? Shut the hell up. It's messed up that you'd talk to me that way, though. 
Ah, then let me ask you this. Do you think it's okay to spill ink all over some random person's dress like that? <laughs> Maybe I'm not the one that's as messed up as you think. <laughs> I told you I didn't think it was some stranger's wedding dress. If I'd known that, I would have never spilled ink all over it. I was dang sure that that was going to be your wedding dress today. Wait, wait. <laughs> it doesn't even matter whose dress it was in the first place. You are messed up for doing that all the same. If anything, you would have been in even more trouble had it been my dress. I would have made sure that you got sued in court. Sumi, your own family? After showing me the person you really are, you're not family to me. You're not even like a sister to me anymore, so I'd be totally fine making you suffer. The fact that you thought it was funny to ruin someone else's big day... That's something most people would never even think of doing, so you're like a monster at this point. And another thing, the wedding that'll be taking place outside the church today in that courtyard is of a girl whose father is the sheriff of this town. Huh? We had seen them a while back when coming here to set up our wedding, and they mentioned that to us. The soon-to-be bride mentioned her father being high up in the police force or something like that. And I think I even spoke to him once. What the hell? Now that's a joke. There's no way something like that could be true. Stop trying to make me freak out anymore. Well, you'll find out the truth eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> I know that you're at someone else's wedding location right now, but if it's of the girl whose dad's a sheriff, then you'll be in for a great time. <laughs> Stop trying to mess with me. Even if it is her dress, I've already started running away, so they'll never find me. The moment I fully realized it wasn't your dress, I ran from there. I didn't want to see the end of how badly I screwed up that stranger's day. Just make sure that you don't say anything to them if you see them. Oh, it does seem like it was the wedding in the courtyard that you happened to mess up. What? Huh? So I think I'll let them know what happened. I'll try my best to make the story sound credible. I'll tell them that even though you're my older sister, you had a deep jealousy that you couldn't control and thought you were ruining my wedding. All right, I just let them know all of that for you. And I think her parents are not taking it too well. They said something along the lines of having you not only pay for the wedding dress, but for the whole wedding itself. Hold on, what? You... you went and told them just now. I just ran over a mile away now, and you're saying there was no point to it? Did you really think you could run away from your mistakes this time? Whether it's today or a few days from now, they are going to find you and take you down. The dress she has seems like something with quite a price tag on it as well. And it wasn't just a rental, but a dress that she'd bought herself and had placed at the wedding. You really screwed up this time, Emmy. <laughs> laughing? Nothing about this is funny in any sense. Well, wait, well, what should I do now? I am about to start my wedding, so I can't do anything for you. But I can already see her dad getting into his patrol car, and he called for some backup to start searching for you. And mom and dad just told me that you can do whatever you'd like to try and evade them, even mentioning that you should try punching one of the officers. That way you can spend some time in jail and away from us. It's really up to you now how you plan to take responsibility for this. Wait, I can't be taken into custody by the police. I didn't think something this scary could happen to me. I just wanted you to feel the same pain I've been feeling all my life. Why did this have to happen? Because you have messed up thoughts like that. Well, it seems like the only one that will be feeling the pain you've always been experiencing will be yourself. <laughs> but you and I are sisters, right? Do something about this and help me. I can't do anything for you. You did all of this to yourself, and you have to answer for it. And you're an adult now, and in your 30s at that, so you can learn today what happens when you try and ruin someone else's day. Just remember that Mom, Dad, and I are all cutting ties with you. So never show your face to us again. Your lack of handling your own emotions has really done it to you this time. <laughs> Now, have a great one. I hope they don't go easy on you, Emmy. <laughs> In the end, 
Vanessa and her husband were able to have a wonderful wedding together with all their friends and family. And Emmy was caught by the police and the sheriff and taken away to somewhere that nobody knew of. After a few days and being given her phone back, she tried time and time again to get Vanessa to help her. But at that point, Vanessa was on her honeymoon and didn't look at her phone. And because of that, Vanessa was left to her own demise. However, after a few months had passed, Vanessa made a surprise visit to her parents' house and made it seem as though she had really grown up into a full adult. She had a job again working on a factory line, but she didn't say much else to her mom about what she'd been experiencing on her own. I'm sure that whatever it was was too troubling to have to tell anyone. But after that little visit with her parents, she left and never came back to them again. And I'm sure that's for the best, as nobody wanted her around anyway. <laughs> 